Hello everyone and welcome to my video about gliding in MSFS. Uh, in this video we will look at the Freeware Glider, where to get it, how to install it and another Freeware program which will give you all the options and tweaks that you need including thermals, winch, tow planes and so on. Of course don't forget to like the video and subscribe and let's go! The glider that I'm using here is an AS33. It's a freeware plane that you can download from flightsim.to. Link is in the description. Uh, so, the simplest way, just go to flightsim.to, uh, flight search for aircraft, like this, select gliders, and you will be presented with one, two, three, four, five five options of different gliders. Mine that I have in the video is the AS33 as said before. <laughs> I do have as well the discus uh, but I like the AS33 a little bit a little bit better. Click on it. You will get some previews, some pictures, some videos. Just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and just download it. Uh, I'm not gonna download it right now. I already have it as said but uh, you go uh, when you when your download is finished just drop it into the community folder and you're good to go another thing that you need for gliding in msfs is the kinetic assistant this is a pretty awesome program also freeware that you can uh, download it from flightsim.to and i'd strongly recommend it uh, you can search for the link on flightsim.to or you can just push the link that I uh, that I posted it down there in the description and you'll be presented with the Kinetic Assistant homepage. Um, scroll down, it's quite a bit. Uh, it's quite a bit and you'll see the latest version currently uh, September 2021, uh, version uh, 01030. Um, download it from web server or you can also download it from cloud, doesn't really matter. The only thing that you should care about is do not, after you download it, do not drop it into your community folder extract the file somewhere else anywhere uh, in my in my case i have it on my desktop when you extracted your files uh, on the location open the folder of kinetic assistant you will see its internals and there is the kinetic assistant exe file just run it a little menu will open for you here we go and connect to the sim very simple uh, it comes with quite a manual uh, so i won't go through the through all stuff uh, in detail just go go there read it through what we're gonna do today we will go a little bit thermaling and i will be interested in the winch in the hook you can adjust many different things here the way uh, it's hooked to the winch what is the initial distance for the winch in meters what is the maximum speed um, with pressing this button attach winch cable we will be attached and uh, ready to go we're not gonna do that yet let's go to the thermals this is what i will be interested in as well um, you can uh, uh, enable api thermals uh, and that means that uh, uh, real world thermals will be injected into your sim here uh, so uh, pressing this button will give will bring you to this uh, to this very site uh, we are currently sitting in blade lima julia bravo lima and i can immediately see then that to our to, to the east side there are some, therm some thermals and i would like to go uh, explore them press enable thermals and that would be it though of course you would you, you would load in your glider somewhere where terminals are present so uh, it is it is good to 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 check uh, this map a really nice tool i love it all right so here we go we have our plane we have our um, our kinetic assistant weather is set uh everything is ready to go the only thing we have to do is right now to attach the winch cable and off we go so the plan the, the plan currently is uh, to winch us to a certain altitude i don't know 2000 feet let's call it we will engage the engine I didn't mention that yet, but this glider has as well an engine hidden in, in his tail outside uh, and we will get ourselves up and then to the left, actually to, to the east side, searching for some thermals. There's a disabled thermal, so this is all in, this is all done. Vinch, here we go. Master battery, let's put it in. 
uh, I'll take a look at the settings before we go I would like to okay this is already in so in default the altitude units are in meters the default auto the default speed units are in kilometers just take a look through that so you won't get a surprise when you get into the air and then stuff it looks weird or the numbers don't add up um, a nice glider I have to say as I said it has an engine outside it has flaps it has ballast tanks uh, everything that a glider actually needs plus an engine <laughs> attach winch cable here we go let's do that attention on the speed what I noticed uh, uh, stalling this thing is not good so you gotta take care gear up release winch cable option with the control key to some uh, to some uh, wondering it doesn't work on my keyboard so I will press it with a mouse we will engage the engine here we go, extend it, release winch cable, attention on the speed, let's not stall it. The engine is coming up and just give it throttles. Here we go, you hear the engine roaring, 3000 feet, good. Adjust the trim a little bit for a climb and we will fly out to the left of course th this is a departure with the winch uh, if you take a tow plane you generally wouldn't be using the engine for climb out but yeah we're doing it that th that way today uh, so looking at at our map again let me take a look it should be to the left side on those mountains we should have we should have some thermals so let's come closer and we'll take a look at them the thermals will appear in this menu here as as a red dot and uh, we'll try to make the best out of it, isn't it the engine has its limitations uh, not sure what that would be fuel or whatever but when when we dry out the engine doesn't work anymore so we are limited on how far or how high we can travel with the engine fast forward a little bit and we're here 6000 feet uh, we are still keeping our engine up uh, and we are nearing the the mountain where i would su su uh, suspect <laughs> some some thermals let's see if we get any as i said a red uh, a red circle would appear and if you look at our kinetic assistant at the menu on the map outside we are we are nearing a an, an red circle very cool so there should be some thermal activities right there and we'll try to we'll try to use them in in our favor so you can go and disable you can go and disable the engine whenever you want um, fiddle with it fly it learn it um, try to understand it uh, i've been gliding a little bit in x-plane 11 i really love the mechanics behind that and and the, the sheer skill that that you need for a successful glide trip um, i haven't been much in msfs um, so if anyone would ask me what, what what is the difference i would say it's it's much easier to glide in msfs to some degree so uh yeah but this is my personal opinion here we go we're in a red circle let's get the engine up away Re retract the engine close it attention on the speed One flaps and we're in the circle N yet unknown to me is because uh, this circle is a pretty big one i don't think thermals are are that big in real life i always and this is also a difference with x 11 uh the thermals here look very big this is why why it's easier to to, to fly it in msfs um i still have to explore it 
uh, but since you're you're holding in the red circle uh, you will get the constant climb as you can see a small one 3.5 it's okay it's okay it's perfectly good for for those uh, for those easy soaring relaxing just appreciating the views msfs is full of them is it uh, if anyone is wondering i'm using an rtx 3080 all the graphics settings currently here on ultra um anything else to add on to i don't think so no So as long as you as you keep a, a steady circle in the red area and as long as you keep an eye on your speeds, you should be okay. So that's it for this time uh, on uh, soaring in MSFS. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something uh, something new i would strongly encourage you forget the engines try soaring you will like it a lot uh, i guarantee you uh, check the links below for the plane and the kinetic uh, kinetic assistant if you like the content if you like the video drop a like drop a subscriber a subscribe <laughs> and uh, don't forget i'm also live streaming on twitch you will find me under syncrate and there is as well a link for it down below so you are very welcome to join any of my streams usually i'm there every day through the work days through the weekends i'm off for my family and um, yeah that's it enjoy the day uh, and uh, take care and hopefully see you uh, once in one of my streams until then see you later take care ciao bye